coming. Oh, you didn't need held on to it. That might have been a bass though. Oh, it bit the tail off. It was a full moon maybe two days ago, three days ago. So I'm just gonna be picking through all this brush and timber out here to see if I could find something interesting. Man, I can't get these fish to. Oh, never mind. All right. Man, I knew they had to bite eventually. All right, so that's a main laker right there. A thump, a real thump. Oh man, I'm not missing them all. Whoa, nice little surprise. Maybe bluegill. No, nope, that was a thump. No, these are bigger. These ain't bluegill. Let's see what kind of fish they are. Not the kind of bite. All right, so we dropped the head down to a 16th instead of an eighth. Let's see if that makes any difference. I did. Oh, it's a huge school of drum. Try to catch one more to verify. But yeah, it definitely they're drawn. That's why they're not so aggressive. Those ended up being drawn. Pretty crazy. Oh, I felt like a bluegill. Not good. Probably a bunch of bluegill. Try it again. Oh, it feels 
like bluegill. <laughs> hey, that's nice pretty fish. It's right at nine and three quarter. those fish we saw normally would bite or at least chase the bait a little bit more. Oh, this is getting into the seal a little bit. I'm not sure if the moon phase played a part. I really don't know if the full moon's a myth or a legend or fact. Let's see if there's something different going on. Yeah, I think the only way to know is next time there's a full moon, maybe take a night trip, see if the bite's really good. But the two that I did catch were pretty full, full of bait, full of shad, or minnows. We did find some new fishing areas though, so that's always a plus. Hope to see y'all on the next one.